So I've been playing a lot of the Wise of P demo recently, and it's quickly shaping up to be one of the games that I'm really excited for this year. One of the features in this title is the ability to create custom weapons by combining different handles and blades. So in today's video, I'll be ranking all these weapon combos, from the good, to the bad, to the ugly. So with no more delay, let's get right into this. To start off, I guess I should preface with an explanation on how I rank these. I'm aware in the hands of different people, different weapons will play differently. However, my prime focus was A, does this combo do anything uniquely better than any other combo? And B, if it does something unique, is that unique existence important overall? I'm aware to at least some, the unique trait of one weapon may be far more important than the unique trait of another. At the end of the day, this is my ranking, so I accept that others will disagree at points. So let's first start off with my thoughts on the three main starter weapons. Starting off with the Rapier, this weapon was my main during the demo. I think it is a great starter weapon. It sports high mobility, allowing for tactical dodges and pivots against most enemies. However, it offers a low block, low damage, high difficulty in stunning, and a relatively weak ability. Despite that though, this mobility is a really key factor that forces this weapon up to an A-. It's very solid, it just has some downsides that are okay, they're not gonna like destroy you. Next we have the Saber. The Saber is kind of the midpoint between the Greatsword and the Rapier, however with that stance as the midpoint, it doesn't really do what the other two weapons do really particularly well. This weapon reminds me of the saying, Jack of all trades, master of none. As it lacks enough mobility to allow for the ease of dodging that the rapier has, it lacks the block stats that the greatsword has, and overall its damage isn't really high enough to make up for those facts. So I'd rate this weapon at B+, it's just kind of there. Finally, the last starter weapon is the greatsword. This is a heavy hitting, highly tactical weapon. It can dish out a lot of damage, but requires a decent bit more skill to use against bosses, as you have to get your blocking mastered. In my opinion though, the difficulty of understanding how to dodge every single enemy's attack, and the difficulty of blocking those attacks, is comparable. And considering that the high damage of the Greatsword allows for staggering enemies with high damage, and its high block lets you take far less than the Rapier would have you take if you blocked the same attack, I honestly think all of the Greatsword average out to around an A-. minus. From starter weapons, you have weapons you acquire following the start of the game. The first of these two is the Electric Hammer, which you acquire from a vendor. This thing is pretty interesting, supporting a quite low base damage stat that is supported with the Electric Effect. It has pretty good stun capabilities against puppets, and its heavy attack can be very useful in causing stuns. Due to its electric capabilities, decent stun abilities, as well as acceptable damage, I rate this weapon as an A-. On the other side of the coin is the Police Baton. This weapon is acquired after beating a mini boss, and honestly, it is not even worth the fight in my eyes. It is similar to the hammer in that it's a blunt force, but manages to really have no applicable uses in its own right. Being slow, it would suggest its damage is high, which just isn't the case. Well, maybe it has a decent block. Kind of, but not really. And having a decent block isn't enough when the rate sword exists, which also has a decent block, with the upside of it also having high damage. I think this weapon does absolutely nothing particularly well by itself, so the weapon is a complete failure. F+. With the main weapons out of the way, let's get into the combos of the various hilts and blades. And I'd like to start off with the combos that are just flat out awful. First up we have two that are bad for the same reason, rapier blade with saber hilt and rapier blade with baton hilt. As I said when I reviewed the rapier, its damage is abysmal, so why would anyone put something with that low damage onto a hilt with a slower fire rate? That's the issue that these two suffer from, and really nothing helps them recover from this fact. So both F+. However, there is a slight caveat to that rule, and that's the Rapier Blade and Greatsword Hill. I could be biased on this one, but the wider swing to the Greatsword lets the Rapier get some very nice reach. However, it doesn't matter, because the damage is still vile, so D. Uh, this principle goes even a step farther, by the way, with the Rapier Blade with the Electric Hilt but even more reach, and that's even better, so a D plus for that one. Overall though, you don't want to stick the rapier blade on any other hilt. Another awful weapon comes from the baton with the rapier hilt. I think the idea is in theory to have a high rate of fire wacky stick, but um, uh, if you want to use the rapier hilt, there are far better alternatives than the baton, and the damage of the baton is the worst utilization of the rapier hilt I've seen yet, so F. To close out the dreadful weapons, we have two more that are just like, hey, this is a bad pair. 
and that's baton saber and saber greatsword, where baton uh, blade, saber hilt, saber blade, greatsword hilt. They do nothing special. They just make it harder to play as they are clunky, and they just don't feel like they are meant to be together. So D rating for them both. Alrighty, next we have weapons that are just meh. These weapons don't really do too much special, or the downsides of them bring down any potential positives that they have. First we have the saber top with baton body. This weapon is meh because it's not particularly bad, I just can't really think of a reason to use it. It has meh damage, meh block, and it doesn't really pair particularly well or bad with the baton's body hit style. It's all around just forgettable. C. Slightly better is to take the saber top and put it with the electric body, which does the same thing I said earlier about the rapier that the electric body does, just, just a tiny bit better, you know, longer range, a little bit better, saber, but it's overall not the best, so C+. Next, we have baton top with the greatsword body. This one is strange because it's not, like, awful, which is what we would expect from the baton top, but it's not, like, good either. It's, again, just meh. The baton's top's damage is dreadful, but the combo of their abilities is decent for basic crowd control. So, C-. And finally, we have the electric top with the baton body. This is only here. It's only this high up for one singular reason, and that's the baton's heavy hit. When comboed with the electric top, it's simply beautiful, dealing massive damage that can be easily changed with other attacks to decimate a target due to its stun. Everything else it does is awful. Its block is meh, its regular attack is, is awful, so I'm going to go with a C on this one. Next, we have the good weapons and the god tier weapons. First, saber top, rapier body. This thing basically looks at the saber's base damage issue of having low damage and fixes it by boosting the damage. There are very little downsides as the stamina drain isn't awful, so it's just a solid combo. A. But a direct upgrade from that would be the electric top rapier body. This goes, hey, that higher damage is nice, but what if we added stun and electric? I think it's really self-explanatory as to why that is so good, so A plus rating from me. But what if I said we can go higher? The Great Sword Rapier combo is one of the best in the game, and in my opinion, is the best in the game. It's extremely high damage, high attack speed, high block, and decent abilities is like a dream come true. However, there are some caveats to look out for, those being the extremely high stamina drain and high weight. However, for me, these honestly weren't major issues, and a couple of levels into stamina can fix that right up. But I address that those are issues this weapon faces, so I won't put it at S+, but a solid S honestly seems very appropriate for this weapon. Next, we have electric combos. The electric top is really good, as I've kind of been hinting at earlier, and the electric damage and stun that it can bring really helps elevate some weapons to the next level. First would be the electric top saber body. This uh, weapon actually utilizes the top the worst, though, offering nothing really distinct to it and overall just kind of wasting its potential. But the saber bottom isn't awful, so it's not like it just ruins it, so overall B+. But to really harness that idea, we can go to the electric top greatsword body. This is a gem of crown control. Being able to have wide swings that stun multiple enemies is a beautiful thing indeed, and I know you can get this with one sharpener on the greatsword, but something about having this combo that's just constant and not having to worry about constantly reapplying it is amazing. So A+, from me. On the topic of electric, its base is also really good, offering very wide reach that can be quite helpful at opportunity hits. Tom makes use of this actually, boosting its abysmal performance, slightly letting it get a couple more hits in than it prior would have. But mostly, the baton tends to do what it always does, and that's squandering things. So this ends up with a B rating. But the greatsword? The greatsword's not the baton, so it understands. Let me describe this. The highest damage blade now has even higher range and has decent abilities with that. With that in mind, I think it's very clear why this combo is insane, and for me, puts the greatsword top with the electric bottom firmly at an S-. minus. It is very good at long range, it's very good at hitting those opportunity hits and doing decent amounts of damage, it's just great. To close out, we have the greatsword blade. The greatsword blade is really high damage, which makes it amazing. This high damage can be utilized by the baton bottom in a rare moment where it is useful. This combo lets the heavy attack of the baton have the damage of the greatsword, which is very useful in doing a large stun attack. It also isn't worse at blocking due to the blade's high block stat, putting it at B+, so pretty solid. But again, where the baton fails, something else understands the assignment. 
Saber Hilt with the Greatsword Blade is a solid A-. Being able to bring the damage of the Greatsword to a solid middle ground between the Rapier Hilt and the Greatsword Hilt. While it isn't like the other Greatsword combos, the Saber is able to properly use this damage to dispatch opponents when needed. So, thus its rating. And that is it. I'll put on the screen a little diagram I made of my rating so you can decide if you agree or not. Either way, I hope you enjoyed. If you're excited for this title as much as I am, check out the link in my description to my home Discord. You'll have to talk to others who are as interested about this game as I am. But that's all for today. So until next time, this has been Christopher Beast. Ciao.